morning, good evening, or good night, depending on what time you're watching this. Hey, Snapen here, and it's time for the newest video. What is up there, Stealth Squad? How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, so what we're going to be doing is going through the airplane. So, obviously, um, there's um, various different heroes which you should be using when you're actually going through the levels. But it really depends on what gen heroes you are on. So, not all resonated heroes are great for this. Quite often, it's your normal heroes. Sometimes, the heroes aren't even that good for this, where they do low amounts of damage. Now, I believe that it's generally uh, trap heroes which are doing uh, better damage uh, than normal heroes. So, for instance, on Generation 4, where you have Tyler, Brooke, and Julia, I personally will use Tyler, Brooke, and Joker. I will not use Wacko and Makoto because it does slightly more damage. But then again, when it comes to Gen 5 and you're using Roxy... Roxy does less damage than Mikoto, so I would use Mikoto at that point. So I believe that is generally what trap heroes you'll be using will do more damage on the actual bosses than the normal heroes. On changing troop formation, is it worth it? I don't think so. You can change troop formation, but the amount of damage extra you do is so minimal, I don't think it's worth it. Okay, guys, next we're going to go on to the skills. <coughs> Sorry. So, uh, when I'm focusing my skills, as you can see on the left-hand side of me, or the right-hand side for you guys, uh, you will primarily be focusing your inventory health. Now, inventory health is the most important uh, when it comes to PvP. But is it the most important when you're trying to go through the levels? I don't think so. The ones which actually are better for going through the levels is the lethality. As I said, I believe this is like Trap, where the damage is key, uh, so the lethality actually helps you get through the levels quicker. But, as genuine, uh, in, like when I normally tell you what to go for, I stick to that, because that is for PvP uh, related subjects. So, what I would say is first focus on the inventory health. When you have the inventory health up, then you'll be focusing on the Hunter lethality. Now, depending on what generation you are on, it could go for the inventory or the rider lethality. If you're using a very low amount of riders, say 5, 10%, no, 10%, I would say should be the lowest you should be using. So if you're using 10% and you're using 60% inventory, it may be better to focus on the inventory lethality next and then do the rider lethality. Once you've done that, if you're once again using a low amount of riders go the hunter health and then go the rider health if not do it vice versa if you're using a decent amount of riders because riders generally have more health so the health increase will make a bigger difference okay guys next we're actually going to be talking about the squadron so as you may or may not know when you combine the two uh when you put them inside it they actually combine their skills so, uh, if one of them is 30%, the other one's 40%, it gives you 70% in total. Now, on which one you should focus on, I would vary this depending on what level they are on. So, if I reopen the hangar, when you look at this, as you can tell, it actually uses 30 of the super alloy, but only 2 of the special coating. Now, when you go on to the other one, as you can see, you're actually using 37 of the carbon fiber and only 31 of the titan alloy. So you, it's a lot more costly for the carbon fiber for the airplane than it is for the uh, special coating for the helicopter. Now, if you look at this, they're actually worth one for one. Now, of course, these are a lot easier to get than the uh, than the titanium alloy. As you can see, it costs you three times the amount. And when you're changing ten of these, you only get one of these. But, if you were in one of the previous states, you will notice that when they are in... When you have got these up to a high level, the titanium alloy, you actually end up getting loads of it left over. 
because it starts becoming more uh it starts taking more carbon fiber panels to do your upgrades and it starts to really put pressure on your carbon fibers so a good swap is to focus on your helicopter if your airplane is high because of course you're going to have a massive amount of these but you're going to have very little of these and when you transfer to the helicopter as you know it takes a massive amount of the super alloy but it takes very little special coating so you'll be able to transfer all your gold ones onto the uh, special coating and all the purple ones onto the alloy and you'll be able to level it up a lot quicker now as i said they do stack so uh, you really want to see on which one is more beneficial for the percentage so see this one i get 2.7 percent for 37 of these and 31 of these but this 37 is only two over here and they're worth the exact same this is 0 0.9 that was 2.7 so technically you're only really needing to use six you're only needing to use six to make the equivalent amount of stats now on the 30 of these doing three levels would be 90. so uh if you go to the airplane uh because it's three to one that is 90 so it's the exact same on the other one but as i said you will have a mass amount of those left over if you are at a high level so it might be a better idea to try to level them out as you go along uh so that you're not being you're not using too much of your carbon fiber being the harder one to get and you'll be able to increase the stats uh, about the same okay guys the last thing i'm going to go uh on about is the enhanced talents now they have changed this ever so slightly compared to the ptr but uh as you can see this the airplane is still all about the rallying rallying or garrison rallying or garrison rally or action as the garrison commander so the top one is if you're rallying a building and you're trying to obviously um do as much damage as possible now this one is rally when you're joining a rally to try and do as much damage as possible so when you're rallying a building you should be having your airplane as this on your top one and if you're joining a rally you should be using your airplane with the second ability now these are not on the helicopter these are only on the airplane the rallying abilities are only on the airplane so as i said if you're rallying for center make sure you've got the rally enhancement for the rally lead and tactical supplies for the rally joiner now this is different to the helicopter if you go onto the helicopter's abilities you'll notice that these are solo marches so it's solo march or garrison a building your troops will gain this amount of uh, uh bill this amount of strength now the other ones are about here uh, how much damage you take when you're soloing or gar garrisoning so when you're joining a rally you should always use the helicopter but do you know when you send that follow-up march that's when this comes in handy because you're going to, your follow-up march will have an increased amount of strength the airplane does not help the follow-up march because the airplane is a garrison now the helicopter as i said is not a garrison it is a solo so this is perfect for the follow-up march it will not help you as a rally leader it will only help you when uh doing follow-up marches so for instance when you've set your rally everyone joins with the airplane everyone uses the airplane in there now when people go to send rain that's when you're wanting to send the helicopter because the helicopter will get that solo damage uh, to be able to take it if you don't take it and there's only a couple left or it will just fill up and you'll leave your airplane in there now when defending you can also use this one because as it says solo marching or garrisoning a building and this actually has a highest increase so you see this one is 7.5 percent if you go onto your airplane it is 6.24 yep 6.24 so you actually have a higher increase 
And as I said, that's for garrisoning, garrisoning the building. So when you're rallying, use this. When you're soloing or garrisoning, try and use the helicopter. Okay, guys, so quick summary. When you're focusing on your skills, inventory health, hunt a lethality, inventory lethality, rider lethality, uh, hunter health, rider health. That's the way I personally do it because I don't use many riders. Now, if you're uh, using your airplane or your helicopter, airplane is for when you're setting the rallies or joining the rallies. Helicopter is when you're solo marching or garrisoning to try and defend it. And the last thing is when you're killing the infected, uh, when you're going through all the levels, you may want to be careful on what heroes you are using because of uh, some of the resonate heroes are not good. As I said, if you're using, for instance, the um, resonate hero Wako or Mikoto, just be aware that sometimes the generic heroes are better. For instance, as I said, in Gen 4, which I use, Brook is better than Wako. And I have only noticed a slight difference, but Tyler does slightly more damage than Mikoto. But the Wako one is considerable difference. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this the video. Uh, much love to you all, and best of luck in the airplane. Have a good night, guys. Peace.